Alright guys, we're out here doing a trapping video, but uh, trapping the past few weeks have been really tough and pretty much non-existent, and here's why. When I'm trapping predators, which is coyote, fox, bobcat, I'm using these right here. These are foot traps, steel foothold traps. What you do is you set this trap and then you cover it with dirt, and then you put bait in a hole. The animal is attracted to the hole, comes in here and steps on the trap through the dirt and then gets caught and is held there until you get there. Well, here's the problem. I live in Kentucky, and so these past couple weeks have been freezing every single night and most of the days. And so that's a problem because when your trap is set and there's dirt on top of it, and if there's any moisture in the dirt at all, it freezes, boom. Nothing can step on your trap and the trap cannot go off. And so at that point, it's useless. And so there's really only two solutions to this. You can either get antifreeze powder and kind of shake over the dirt to where it won't freeze at all. That also destroys your traps. Like they'll rust really fast. Or you can make wax dirt. Wax dirt is literally dirt with wax in it and it's hydrophobic. So if water touches it, it rolls right off and it doesn't soak into the dirt. So it can't freeze. Water can sit up on top of the trap and puddle up and freeze, but the dirt around your trap will not freeze. And so that's actually what we're making right now. You can see right here, we actually have a random pot thing with dirt in it over top of a fire and it's steaming. That's getting it really dry. We need this dirt to be extremely dry. Once we get that really dry, we're gonna add this right here, which is actually wax. That's wax, paraffin wax or whatever, but it's in little pieces, so it's gonna melt a whole lot quicker than in a big block. We can't add this in until it's completely dry. Once we put the wax in and it soaks into the dirt, you then have wax dirt. We've already done one batch, which was our first ever, and this right here's our second batch. We don't know how it's gonna work. But hopefully, if we do it kinda right, we'll be able to trap no matter the weather, and that's really important because I've not been able to trap for the past month because it's just been freezing every night. So that or snow all over the place. Right. <sighs> But, uh, I'm in a little predicament. To make 20 pounds of wax dirt, it takes approximately 5 pounds of wax, which costs around $12, and dirt, which you go get for free. You then have to put time into it and skill, which I do not have. I could just buy wax dirt completed for $1 per pound, which I think I'm going to start doing. Because, I mean, I got plenty of time, but not for this, you know? <laughs> I got a lot of free time, but... Not to cook dirt. That ain't fun. No. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing either. But for now, we don't have it. It'll be like four or five days before I can buy the dirt. For now, this is all we got, and this is what we have to use. So we're going to cook up this little batch right here. We got another really small batch out there. That should be enough for us to set a couple traps and actually get them working over the weekend. Because I got some predators, and I cannot trap them without this dirt. And I can't breathe without oxygen. What do you think about this whole process? Makes me want to sneeze, but it's like too much. I'd rather just pay $26. Abram, bro. He's going to put ice in the fire. No. What are you doing there? I'm just holding it. Wax dirt. He picked up a, he picked up a chunk of ice and started walking towards the fire. Mm -hmm. I can hear ice breaking behind me now. Long story short, I'm gonna, we're going to cook the dirt. Catch you guys in a second. All right, I'm going to add the wax. I'm going to add it, and then i got to mix it. Whenever it looks like the dirt's wet, that's when it's ready. But now I, I gotta throw it in and mix it kind of quick, so watch and learn, I guess. You may not learn much, but you can watch for free. You can you can watch it like on the sides of it. Right, see? Yeah. Now I just gotta I gotta mix this up good too. Big wax clumps. Oopsie doopsie. This is honestly I think the best way to mix it. See? You can kind of start to see it looking like it's wet. It's not actually wet. That's just where the wax is mixing in. I may have to add a little bit more wax, but I'll see here in a second. I'll go ahead and continue to mix it up real nice. You don't want to get too hot because if the wax burns, which it can, um, it, it starts to smell. It does a chemical reaction. Instead of just melting, it burns, and that's a smell that coyotes can lock onto, and they'll dig up the dirt. You can do sand, too, but I'm doing dirt because I like dirt, and I don't live on the beach, so I ain't even got sand. Does that look waxy? I think it does, because it looks wet. That's just it being waxy. Let's come over here, and now we gotta go dry it. Because if we leave it sitting like this, it'll get thick like wax does, and clump together, and... That's yeah, a no-go. That's not good. Here's the first batch we done. It's a little small, but... Turned out pretty good, I think. Put on my glove, and I'm just going to 
smash up any clumps and rumble them out a little bit better. Then here in a second, once this, uh, you know, cools down to room temperature or outside temperature, whichever one, we'll be able to go out and trap with it. But right now it's still warm, it needs to dry off. The one cool thing about the wax dirt and the reason we made it is instead of like normal dirt where you can squeeze it and it'll clump together, this just turns right back into powder. Check this out guys, I'm doing a science experimentation demonstration. This is normal dirt, watch what happens. Water goes in, it turns into mud. You can see it's muddy. This is wax dirt, watch it. See? It just rolls off. Yeah, it rolls off, it doesn't make mud. Some water kind of floats off, but the water stays on top. And this sand right here, still, no matter how much you mix the water in, it's still, the dirt's still dry. And so the dirt can't freeze if the dirt's always dry. This one, that's just made mud. That's my experimentation in the discrimination. No. And now we're going to go trap it. It's being unnecessary. All right, guys, we're currently in a field, as you can see, but right here we have a four-wheeler trail. Check this out. This is a really nice four-wheeler trail. Uh, Four-wheelers trail around on it and stuff, but foxes do too. And so I know for a fact that the fox, coyote, and maybe even bobcat run this trail weekly, and they run up this trail, and then they go straight over there. And so what I'm going to do is very simply put a trap right here. And so they're going to see it as they come by, whether they like it or not. It's in a pretty easy location, pretty good location. Might even back it up to that piece of grass right there. Good location. Good location, yeah. I'm gonna put up a trail camera so that if for some reason the trap doesn't work or the animals just don't notice the trap, at least I'll know and I'll be able to make some changes. And cameras have good video. They do, they got good video. Do something funny. Do something funny. I don't know. You can't put me on the spot to do something funny. You just put you put that thing on your head earlier. I thought that was funny. Well, I'm gonna use this. It's called a cookie cutter. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. I don't know how good it'll work, but hopefully I'll find out. See how this goes. Oh, no, that's actually kind of cool. It made a somewhat perfect trap bed for me. I'll dig out some on the bottom to have somewhere to put my chain and stake it down. There's a real nice rock. I mean, that there's actually a pretty solid trap bed, as is. We'll go from there. Here we go. It's the moment of truth. I really hope I don't waste all the dirt I just created for two hours right here on one trap. Because if I do, that's really sad. All right, that looks pretty okay. That looks pretty good. I think that can catch. Unfortunately, we did use three quarters of the dirt it took two hours to make, so now for bait, it's gonna be pretty simple. I got some fox pee right here. I'm just gonna pour some over the top, and then I'll grab some bait here and stick it way down in the hole. Just get me a good little clump, put it in there, and that's it. As long as it goes to pretty far down in the hole, we will be good. Honestly, I think this set's actually a pretty good set. The wax dirt worked really good. Really good, actually. It's just, unfortunately, the way I did it, it's really hard to make for what you get. So I think I'm just gonna buy it and see how fast that goes because that, the way I was trying to produce it or whatever, maybe I was doing it wrong, maybe I was doing it a pretty inefficient way, one way or another, that, yeah, uh, that's for the birds, I ain't doing that. And then here in the next few days, keep setting more and more traps until eventually we have a bunch of traps and uh, we'll catch some. I do think we will. And I don't think it's gonna take long because I know for a fact there's a particular red fox that runs this almost daily. All right, guys, we're out here on the trap line, as you probably could imagine. Check this out. So it is around, what? 20 degrees. 20 degrees, all right, so well below freezing. We just had snow. You can see the snow actually snowed on top of my trap. Check this out. This is the set I made with wax dirt. What you can see is that, look, the dirt, 
just still as soft as ever. But the snow that melted on top, right here, picking the ice off like that. That's pretty neat. That's insane, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Ice just picking off like that. If I didn't pick the ice off, it wouldn't really affect the trap. But this just goes to show how cool this wax dirt is because, look, it's completely dry. That's actually my trap pan. I'll go ahead and do this some. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the dirt over here. That's not waxed. Out over here where it is waxed, like powder. That's crazy. It's pretty good stuff. That is good stuff. It is, it's pretty cool, dude. Just want to jump in here and tell you that. That's pretty cool. We got it. All right, boys, listen. If I don't have any crazy reactions, it's because I'm, uh, I'm sleepy. I just, I just woke up a few minutes ago. But anyways, we got a fox right here in that set with the dirt that i spent two hours trying to you know make i still don't think it was worth two hours but it's just pretty cool that we got a fox i've really not caught a lot this year and the reason is because i've really not been able to trap this year it's literally been so snowy and so wet and so freezing freezing thawing freezing thawing every single day you just can't trap in that man i mean unless you have wax dirt which we do now i knew he was in the area i did i knew he was in the area from previous trail cam pictures like this one whenever i got two red fox in the same picture now if you watch the channel a lot you may have seen this video right here it was from earlier in the year and we already caught one red fox that was our first and only predator catch of the year so far which is uh okay i guess since we've not been able to trap much but we finally got his little duo. On my property here, what we prioritize is game animals, okay? Things like deer, things like squirrels, things like rabbits, things like turkeys, things that we enjoy to hunt ourselves. Now, by prioritizing those, that means that I, I try my best to trap predators, things like fox, coyotes, and even raccoons and possums, which are nest predators and eat turkey eggs and stuff. Now, I'm gonna take out this red fox, and at the end of the day, the red fox is leaving the property. That opens up space for a few rabbits to continue to live. And I mean, yeah, it's just like the circle of life, I guess. Just so y'all are aware, me killing this fox is not going to hurt the fox population at all. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give you guys one last look at him. Here's what he looks like, and then I'm going to get him taken care of. And then we're going to check that trail camera that we set and see if anything else came through here. All right, guys, just got him taken care of. I have a couple things to do. One, I have to reset the trap, but I'm actually out of wax dirt because I set another trap with what wax dirt I had left. So I may not actually get to reset this trap right now. I might just have to wait until my wax dirt that I actually bought comes in. But we're not done trapping in this video, guys. I'm going to try to catch another predator in this video. Hopefully a coyote, but I'd take a fox. But if I had to guess, honestly, I'd say a coyote because I know they're here and I ain't caught him yet. Let's hop inside here and we'll check the camera okay this is a kg trail camera if you guys do not know it's the trail camera i make all right guys so this is where the story starts i come out here and i set the trap pretty simple uh first thing we got this is literally the first night this red fox came to the set the first night and i'm not really sure what happened and why i didn't catch him he came the first night and he left he piddled around some more and then i assume he left because we sure didn't catch him then I come back to check it the next day. Don't think I have anything, so I just move on. The next night, we have this. Can't tell if that's a regular dog or a coyote, but our next few pictures may tell us. I think that's a coyote. But uh, regardless, we didn't catch him, and he stuck around a little bit. And here is, I think, maybe the third or fourth night. We have some deer just walking around the field, and then we get the fox, and then... Yeah, right there, I believe he's caught. So, three nights, three animals checked the trap, and the third one finally caught it. I don't think that's terrible, but I checked the tracking number. My wax dirt is going to be here in two days. So in two days, I'm going to pick back up with y'all. No, I'm resetting it today. I'm going to come back out here and cook more dirt today. I'm, I'm going to reset this today. I don't want to wait two days. I can cook more dirt. Long story short, I'm going to go cook more dirt. I'm going to come back out here and reset this trap, and I'll catch you guys whenever we catch something. I don't think it'll be too long. I really don't. All right, guys, I just woke up, as you can probably tell, uh, looking kind of rough, but that's okay. I look at my phone to see this right here. It is my Moultrie uh, cell cam, and it's really cool because as soon as you get a picture, it sends it to your phone. And so I looked at it, and I was like, hey, there's a coyote in my trap. And so next thing I know, I'm jumping up. Here we go, and I can see him right there. We have a coyote in the trap. First thing in the morning, I've not even done anything. I just got out of the bed, jumped on the defender, and now we're out. But if you look closely, look at that picture. 
there was another coyote on the far left. And unfortunately, I only had one trap set. And because I only had one trap set, I didn't even have an opportunity to catch the other one. Even though if I would have had two traps ever here, honestly, I probably would have caught the other one because that's just how they do. Anyways, check him out. He's not the biggest coyote in the world, but he's definitely one that would love to snack on some turkeys. And uh, yeah, that's no bueno. He's not a bad size coyote, not gonna lie, but if you guys have never seen a coyote up close and in person, this right here is exactly what they look like. They're that just brownish tan color. And at the end of the day, honestly, they blend in about perfectly with the leaves. Which is what they're made to do. Sometimes you'll come up on them and they'll start barking. Because you... Oh, he's about to. Oh. He does have his tail tucked, so... He's obviously scared, which, uh... I understand. I am scary. Especially when I just woke up. He really doesn't look that old at all. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put 36 grains in his head. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Actually, no, I'm not. Hopefully, I don't need it. If I miss that close, say something bad wrong. Click right over here if you'll see us do some coon trapping, or right over here for a big bobcat we caught a couple years ago, and we even ate it. Mm -hmm. 